to formalize the partnership between the Akwaibu State Ministry of Education and Eighteen and Children's Education Foundation, midwived by our son, Professor Isomansen, Samson Iboite. Please put your hands together for him. The program involves in the main the convention and management of government primary school Ikorebu Itina Puruti Itina Yari Wagesi UPE Government Primary School Ikorebu Itina Local Government Area as a model primary school. On behalf of uh, Professor Isongese Samson James Ibokete, the founder and president of the Team Children's Scholarship Foundation, ECSF for short, welcome you to Government School Ikot Ebo. Hereafter, will be named a team, Children Model Primary School, we got a vote, a team. This is the great place of Dr. Ibo Wakei Scholarship Foundation in 2017. And I'm happy today it has metamorphosed to ECSF. Today we are here for a groundbreaking event to commend the collaboration of ECSF with a Bible State Ministry of Education. Having said that, it is a true pleasure for me to cordially welcome Lady Rose Bassi, who is the Permanent Secretary Minister of Education and other directors and the colleagues here present. I'm very grateful to you for taking time out of your very tight schedule to come out to grace this occasion. Despite the contemporary socioeconomic challenges in terms of ancient and modern, by ancient I mean the old era, and what is the new one? I am especially honored to welcome some of the members of the Executive Board of Trustees, advisors, stakeholders, and donors who have generously made this event come true. You are highly welcome. It is also my honor to welcome the traditional rulers. I'll still mention Obron Daily Chapman, the traditional ruler in white. We call him here a digital traditional ruler because he had his training in sociology and some parts of criminal justice from the United States. So we refuse to allow him to go back. But I want to thank all of you for coming. I'm full of pleasure to see you because we know how difficult it is for one to move from one point to the other. But despite that, you've been able to come. Not forgetting the men of God here. I think one just drove in from Rio and some of the colleagues, the friends of the foundation, the two of them there, Tony Okure, came in from Abuja for this occasion. You're welcome, sir. I feel great, but highly humble to have all of you. You are welcome, and God bless you. We are here to formally launch a partnership between the foundation that I started in 2017. When I started the foundation, I called it Dr. Igor Ete Scholarship Foundation. It didn't take long for me to realize that it's not my foundation. 
that it belongs to a whole group of individuals, some of whom have nothing to do with the body. So I changed it to a Tinan Children's Scholarship Foundation to emphasize the population group that the foundation is supposed to serve. Lately, I've actually considered changing it again and dropping the word Tinan to just be Children's Scholarship Foundation or Children's Education Foundation because children, irrespective of what language they speak, irrespective of the circumstances of their birth, no matter how you look at it, they comprise our future. So, this partnership with the Ministry of Education is designed to help the children who attend this school is designed to help the children who attend this school to become successful. Uh, but as a historian, I have to take just a couple of minutes to draw everybody's attention to how far this foundation has come. When I started it in 2017, my, my father used to call appetizer, miam miam board. That's how I thought it, it was supposed to be miam miam board. Just a little thing, a little way through which I could get uniforms for some of the indigent and orphan kids in uh, the school. But it became more like a runaway horse. And <laughs> at times I actually wonder where they, what the hell I'm doing with the foundation. So as you all know, the support that I've gotten for this foundation is largely responsible for why it had grown. I've gotten support from so many individuals, some of whom um, I didn't expect financial support. I, if I start telling you some of the sources of the financial support I have for this foundation, you will be amazed. So it is for that reason that at times when individuals try to convince me to use the money for things other than what people give me the money to use, <laughs> my usual response is over my dead body. Over my dead body. Because I know what it has taken some people to support me, to support this foundation. You also know that the, um, in 2019, I started partnering with the National Youth Service Corps, which again is in hiatus that it will come back. I could not have imagined in 2017 that this school will be hosting members of the National Youth Service Corps. Some of you also know that last year, 2022, I came here with a group of American students. Again, in my wildest imagination, I could not have thought <laughs> that some parents in America, they were usually interact with them, would be crazy enough <laughs> to allow their children to come to some village, the unknown, with a stranger, and they call me Ivo Kent. So again, how the foundation had expanded, how the foundation had expanded, that the city of Newton, one of the towns I consult, teach, not just teach the seniors about Africa, but I teach teachers how to teach about Africa, that the entire district, school district, would adopt my foundation as a destination for what they call the Newton North, international service trip and I add to Nigeria and as of August 12th on August 12th some well-minded and foresighted individuals agreed that 
I, my foundation can partner with the state to achieve some of the goals that we all, we did the goals that we all put for our children. It is a model and a novel one. I'm not sure if this kind of partnership exists anywhere else. That I was very worried that nobody was going to, that people in the ministry would say, in whether I say Namaru, I will say Naman to the Gumi. But again, as has been my experience with this foundation, uh, the commissioner, when I went to pitch my proposal, just looked at it and said, even the governor would like this. You have no idea. The governor would like this. And before we left that office, there was no doubt in my mind that my objective was going to be achieved. So yes, this school is going to be transformed into a model school. And what do I mean by a model school? By that I mean that the quality of education that these the people in this school are going to get will match and perhaps surpass what many very expensive private schools in the state and the country provide for their pupils. You know, as a resume, that's why I used to do a lot of eating growing up. No matter the challenges that I'm going to run into, something really is going to make me succeed. I will abide by the Ministry of Education's regulations, syllabus, curriculum, mandated statewide and national assessments. Similarly, the head teacher and other staff members will remain government employees in their current status. The foundation's main goal in the partnership is to collaborate with the state's relevant officials, agencies and our bodies in guiding the school to implement effective pedagogical strategies so that the people who meet the state's goals and standards and be able to function effectively can, can be able to function effectively in their post primary school endeavors. The key changes that the foundation will implement to achieve this goal will therefore be in pedagogy or teaching methods. While there are a variety of pedagogies, it is of utmost importance that teachers utilize the most culturally appropriate and effective method of delivering content and assessing students' mastery of required skills. It is equally important that educators have access to essential tools to facilitate students' learning. To these ends, the foundation will provide both the pupils and their teachers the necessary pedagogical tools and other essential school supplies. And it's the tools that I plan to bring to provide to people will include appropriate grade level electronics, manipulatives, workbooks, exercise books, pens, pencils, crayons, etc. That process had already begun. The tools for teachers will include professional development programs, in-service training, and electronic pens and physical workbooks and manuals. For a smooth continuity, cohesion and effectiveness of the model programs, teachers who received the same training will not be transferred out of the school except under extenuating circumstances. And I'm very, very happy to report that that part of the agreement is taking roots. So thank you very much, those in the ministry who have been responsible to making sure that uh, that proposal, that component of the proposal is already being implemented. The model program will be compensated for out-of-pocket expenses such as participation in workshops and professional developments, however. What are my plans for 2023? In January, 
this past January. School supplies were distributed to all the pupils in primary one and two. Teaching materials were also made available to teachers in those two places. During the Easter holiday, in a few months' time, the entire campus will be fenced all around. There are some portions of the campus that have not been fenced. So my first priority and those um, are present here who are in the military <laughs> know the importance of security. So the idea is to secure the compound, which is going to include um, a security post in one of the gates where there will be a security personnel to protect the school building. So by the time students come back from the Easter holiday, the fence work will be completed. And you all know that kids whose parents send them to government school, to private schools like this, come from the poorest of the poor families. You all know that. Because any parents, any embarrassing way, in on three no more, a nursery school private schools, etc., etc. So my determination is to make sure that parents who send their kids to this school, that pupils who come to this school, that teachers who teach in this school become elite teachers, become elite students. Once these kids come back from the Easter break, all kids in elementary six are going to start getting lessons, all of them. I am personally really excited about the prospects of this collaboration through which I hope to contribute my fair share in the upliftment of children in need and thereby help in laying a solid socio-economic foundation for our collective future. The children are our future and I'm determined to nourish the bodies and minds of the future. Thank you for making time to come out and support the formal launching of this mobile experiment. And welcome to the campus of the newly minted Model Government School in Korea, a team and local government. Thank you. The spirit and gratitude to the Ministry of Education for this special occasion. The Brother School was founded by the Met Village. It was on the day of my life, far back as the, uh, 1952. It used to be UPE. I guess I don't know what UPE. I mean, I'm going to say what 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 I'm going to say ที่เราเป็นเด็กเด็กเป็นเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็กเด็
from Gaming, gaming, gas If you want to read with joy and from Gaming, gaming, gas Gaming, gaming,
of this April making occasion and I must give thanks to God Almighty for making this day a reality. We are here to witness a formal launching of a very promising partnership between the Federal State Ministry of Education and the Teen and Children's Education Foundation Incorporated for the purpose of transforming the government primary school becoming a man into a top bar primary school in the state. Permit me to say that this is a laudable and worthwhile partnership. Let me thank the Teen and Children's Education Foundation Incorporated for supporting His Excellency, Dr. Maldo Imandras, on his strengthened strike quality education for all Afghan state children. By this singular gesture, the founder and director of the Teen and Children's Education Foundation have gone a long way towards securing the future of the Teen and Children in particular and Afghan in general. I congratulate the Government Primary School Nicole Dotinan for being the pilot beneficiary of this partnership. However, I wish to remind the benefactor that there are so many other schools out there, both in Etinan and beyond, crying for this kind of assistance. I hope God will continue to bless the Etinan Children's Education Foundation if this gesture is extended to such schools. Let me use this medium to call on the other private concerns, corporate entities, non-governmental organization, organizations, and public spirited individuals in the states and beyond to emulate 18 and Children's Education Foundation Incorporated by contributing their quota towards enhancing qualitative education for every acquired child. Also, let me at this juncture thank and congratulate both the Five of States Ministry of Education and the 18 and Children's Education Foundation Incorporated for this wonderful partnership. Finally, suffice it to say that the Five of State Universal Basic Education Board shall continue to carry out its statutory mandates tenaciously and assiduously. I thank you all and God bless you in Jesus' name. On behalf of the Education Monitoring Unit of the Office of the Government, to really appreciate what is going on today. As monitors of education, when we see people who are interested in seeing that the proper education is meant to happen in a problem state, our duty is to facilitate and acknowledge that such is what we are seeing today. When Professor Igor Igoite mentioned this to me, I was very glad. And I'm happy that the State Investor Basic Education Board, the Minister of Education, the Office of the Governor, saw it with him and gladly approved for this synergy. That is why we are all here. It is part of our oversight function that when we are going at monitoring schools, we try to pick out the things that will make proper education in a quiet state to match with the ambition of His Excellency, Mr. Udom Gabriel Emmanuel, who has gladly offered to acquire children free, compulsory, and qualitative education. I am not going to stand here to mention the things His Excellency has done as far as education is concerned. But I am here to really appreciate what Professor Ivorite is doing by bringing partnership of the federal state government through the Ministry of Education and a team Children Education Foundation. Let me use this opportunity 
to encourage all well-meaning appointments to follow suit so that by the time we have people bring out modern schools just as you have it in Ecole Ecolibre, our children will be doing better. Thank you for coming to be with us. Thank you for witnessing this uh, program. Let me remind us the song, Wonder by the Children. Our schools must be better in our own time. And that is what we, in the Education Managing Unit of His Excellency, is doing for the state. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Professor Ibao, to extend our felicitation to our family. May God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Our royal fathers, our host, Professor Ibao Ete, I bucket. <laughs> and the uh, other dignitaries here present uh, let me stand on the existing protocol this is an address presented by the permanent secretary ministry of education lady rose n Bassi, representing the honorable commissioner for education mrs idon isakiboro in recognition of the partnership between the Teen and Children's Education Foundation, ECEF, and the Minister of Education, Akwaibu State, on 23rd February 2023, at Government Primary School, now Model Primary School, Ikorebu, a Teen and Local Government Area. It is my pleasure to identify with the lofty and giant achievements recorded by the leadership of the Teen and Children's Education Foundation, ECEF, in the quest to add visible and pos positive value to the growth of education in a Teen and in particular, and a tribal state in general. I welcome all stakeholders, education lovers, and community leaders who have found time to be here to witness the novel partnership between ECEF and the Aquarium State Ministry of Education. Let me, on behalf of the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Idaisbe thank the founder slash director of ECEF, Professor I.S. Iboite, for his huge contributions to the education sector and in complementing the completion agenda of Governor Udom Emmanuel. I want to also use this opportunity to thank the Ikorebo community for the state of the school that we have come to see. There are a lot of primary schools all over the state that have been vandalized. We look at the windows intact, we look at the doors intact. We look at the roof. The vandalization has gotten to the point that people will go to the school and remove the roof from the um, school buildings for sale. Then we look at this school and we see that it is intact. It is a plus to the community. We want to say to you, well done. You've done well. It is very gratifying and commendable that this foundation, since its inception, has placed high premium, very high premium, on the education of our children by providing assistance to some indigent and orphaned elementary school age children in the teen and local government area. Few weeks ago, the Minister of Education witnessed the donation of instructional materials, books, and several educational materials by ECF to the school. ECF, um, you have done well, Professor. You and the people in your foundation, you have done well. This is the sort of thing 
that Governor Don Emmanuel, a quite in state government, the Ministry of Education, you know, we are praying and hoping that more people will come and help. Education does not come cheap. Education does not come cheap. It's not something we leave only for the government. We all have to be involved. So what he is doing is very exemplary. On this premise, I wish to state here that the idea of a teen and children's education foundation's partnership with the Minister of Education is a welcome development as it will facilitate the transformation of, God, of model primary school, Ikorevo, into a top tier primary school. Um, Prof, this um, transformation you talked about, the Ministry of Education is ready, not just the Ministry of Education, a private state government is ready to give you the enabling environment, all that you need in order to transform the school. So whatever you want to do, work hand in hand with us. I was telling um, the director representing the chairman, Sube, that you should make sure that enough teachers are sent here and that the teachers are knowledgeable enough to handle the equipment. It's not sending, a, it's sending computers here and the teachers don't know how to operate computers. Or you send some educational materials to help the children and the, children, the teachers are at a loss how to operate them. I know your foundation is ready to train the teachers, but one must have an initial level of knowledge, that basic, thank you, the basic knowledge before you add the training. So, Sube, please, you will help them. Send very good teachers to the school. I'm sure the ones here are good. Others you want to send, you know, make sure they are very good. Thank you. This collaboration will no doubt further expose their peoples to an improved system of education, which will give them a greater chance of survival in their larger society. When the community schools and families work together, they provide the best possible resources and expertise to enhance the education of all children. Therefore, it is a collective responsibility of many groups to educate children. It is our NS group, the Latina Children's Education Foundation, ECEF, will flourish and God will grant Professor Eber Oite the founder of the foundation, the knowledge and wisdom to consolidate on the numerous strikes he has so far recorded in model government primary school, Ikorebu, and the community at large. Finally, the Minister of Education calls on public spirited individuals and stakeholders to emulate the kind gesture of Professor Ibo Ite and his wonderful partners to also contribute and make positive impact on the education of our children. Let's leave a lasting and positive legacy for our generations and even the generation unborn. Thank you and God bless us. The winding up invite my brother and my friend, Mr. Fonke, as the Iboite. Fonke, what? Any of you know from me? My assignment here is very simple. In fact, the simplest of all the assignments here. Just to come and cast a vote of thanks. So, if I say thank you and hand over the mic, I don't think I'll be doing anything unusual. But looking at people who are gathered here from the Ministry of Education, Sunde, from Ikonebo Village, from friends, from stakeholders, 
those who have contributed to this foundation and all men of goodwill. I want to say that we are very grateful. We thank you so much for coming to witness this event. And as uh, rightly captured by the children, it okay, Professor Ibo Ikebene, Ikamba Yuri and Nimo, and Ikon, as the volumes of what has happened today. So I want to thank you sincerely for being here. Arik, there may be a campaign in Indian Poet. You have a senior, a friend of Fuki. I want to thank you, thank you very much, and thank you very much indeed. God bless you all. Thank you. The reception takes place at Professor Ibarakate's residence, just behind here. Here. No. I moved to the reception venue street. Thank you very much. Thank you to Professor Hubert for what he has done today and everything he has done in us. May God bless him. Jesus. Thank you, Professor Hubert. I have, I have seen what you have always done. You give us shoes, you give us uniforms, a father's item. May Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I thank Dr. Ibrahim for what he has done in the school. He brought us shoes and he gave us food and he gave us clothes and he come and do our school and to become a member of the school. I thank Dr. Ibrahim for what he has done in the school. He brought us shoes and he gave us food and he gave us clothes and he come and do our school and to become a member of the school. I thank Dr. Ibrahim for what he has done in the school. He brought us shoes and he gave us food and he gave us clothes and he come and do our school and to become a member of the school. I thank Dr. Ibrahim for what he has done in I'm a head teacher of this school by name, Paul for Sunday Ruben. I so much thank God for today's event. And I so much thank you for what he has been doing for these children, giving them food every day, bought them clothes, shoes, and those that are sick, it will always with them to the hospital. He has done a lot in this school, caring for all the people and the teachers. May God bless him in Jesus' name. I pray God. Thank you.